believe that in order to inspire faith and trust in the rule of law, justice should not only be done, but should also be seen to have been done. If evaluated on this yardstick, one can safely say that, on the basis of performance of operations, the Office of Ombudsman is providing justice to general public without any discrimination. The Office of Ombudsman is known for providing administrative justice to the general public against human rights violations and administrative inefficiencies of federal agencies. The Federal Ombudsman Secretariat came into existence on 24th January 1983 under a presidential order. On 8th August 1983, Justice retired Sardar Muhammad Iqbal took oath as the first Federal Ombudsman. This institution's primary goal is to address public complaints against federal government agencies, particularly those of the downtrodden people of society who cannot afford the heavy expense on litigation in courts. Over the years, it has earned a reputation of poor man's court. On 24th January 2023, it has completed 40 years, during which it has redressed the grievances of more than 1.9 million people. The Office of the Federal Ombudsman, established in 1983, is one of the pioneer ombudsman offices in South Asia. The procedure to lodge complaint in the Federal Ombudsman Secretariat is very simple. Any person can write his or her complaint on a plain piece of paper and lodge it along with a copy of his national identity card in person or through online mobile app, email or by post. On receipt of the complaint, the proceedings start immediately and the complainant is informed within 24 hours about his or her complaint number and date of hearing. The complainant is kept abreast with the progress of his or her case at every stage. The complaint is addressed in a maximum of 60 days. The complainant can also contact helpline number 1055 for additional information. The head office of the Federal Ombudsman is situated in Islamabad on Constitution Avenue and there are 17 regional offices in Lahore, Karachi, Peshawar, Quetta, Multan, Faisalabad, Hyderabad, Sakhar, Eptabad, Dera Ismail Khan, Gujranwala, Sargoda, Kharan, Khuzdar and Mirpur Khas, in which the complaints against more than 200 institutions are being redressed. Recently, two new complaint collection centres have also been opened in Wana, South Waziristan, and Sadda District Khuram. The cases are heard in the presence of complainant and a responsible officer of a concerned department. Complainant is also given an option to attend or witness proceedings from home through phone or WhatsApp in order to spare him from hassle and expenses of travel. The Office of Federal Ombudsman is providing valuable services in various fields. As a result of the recommendations of Federal Ombudsman Committee on National Savings, Computerized automation system has started in many cities, due to which the senior citizens, women and general public do not have to waste their time and their profits are automatically credited to their accounts through this automated system. At this time, the children below 18 years of age comprise almost 50% of Pakistani population, who are the future of our country. Therefore, a detailed report was prepared by National Commissioner for Children after the field research on the growing trend against violence and cybercrime against children. The process of lawmaking in this regard is in hands. A pilot task was prepared on the street children of Islamabad. The task force prepared various recommendations for protecting children against all kinds of violence and for taking measures to provide them education and health. A stepwise implementation of these recommendations is being done through relevant authorities. Federal Ombudsman is also providing justice at the doorstep of the general public. For this purpose, under Outreach Complaint Resolution Mechanism, OCR, the officers of the Federal Ombudsman Secretariat provide justice at the doorsteps of the general public 
by visiting the Tehsil and district headquarters. Such complaints are decided within 45 days. Furthermore, the issues of the people are resolved through open courts. Federal Ombudsman himself and senior officers at the regional offices are holding open courts with the help of local administration in the far-flung areas of Mansera, Las Bela, Sibbi, Kherpur, Pindi Bhatia, Bhakkar, Tank, Darya Khan, Lucky Marwat, Paharpur and Fata. In these open courts, any person can raise his or her issue for which efforts are made to get it resolved through the officers of the relevant department present there. Dear Pakistani brothers and sisters, first of all, I wish to thank sincerely PTV for helping us in developing this documentary, which would help in our awareness program and our message would reach out to rural areas, far-flung areas, as it's a very vast country. This Office of Federal Ombudsman has been redressing grievances of public, common citizen against federal agencies over the last 40 years. But in recent years, we have reached unprecedented heights. Last year, we handled 1,64,000 complaints and this year, inshallah, we would cross 200,000 complaints, which translate into almost 1.9 million households who have benefited from our service. And it also means that I have to decide 500 plus cases every day in terms of public complaints and providing relief to them. We have also tried in the last few years to expand our outreach by establishing regional offices in erstwhile tribal areas. There are two offices working in Wana and Sadda, which are now merged districts. One in Mirpur Khas in Sindh, another two Kharan and Khuzdar in Balochistan. We look into maladministration under our law, which creates injustice to people. And this step helps in good governance and rule of law within the country. I am confident that in the coming years, our services would expand. We would reach out to all nook and corners of the people, inshallah, and provide relief as far as our resources would allow. I am confident that our institution, which has an unblemished record of 40 years of service, would continue its services to the people of Pakistan. Thank you so much. As a result of intervention of Federal Ombudsman, relief has been provided to thousands of people. A prompt action is taken to solve all these complaints, and the complainant is kept informed of all the proceedings. It is important to mention here some of the important decisions. Checks worth more than Rs 10 million were gotten issued immediately by the Postal Life Insurance on the complaints of policyholders in Multan. Over Rs 11 million inflated electricity bills sent by SEPCO to Jacob Abad Institute of Medical Science got rectified. The actual spellings of Qaid Azam's name in the Rs 100 note and the regional position of Ziarat were corrected. Hundreds of flood-affected complainants in Quetta were given cheques of 25,000 rupees each from the Benazir Income Support Programme. Excessive electricity bills of more than 100,000 units of people of far-flung areas of Sarkoda, Bhalwal, Mandi Bahauddin, Kalapa, Miawali and other remote areas were rectified. Grievances of residents of Al Safa Heights in Sector E11 in Islamabad were addressed. The issue of non payments of gas bills in Quetta was addressed and recovery of Rs 10 million to the gas company was made possible. Several new power transformers were installed in Kharan. This is a short list, and the fact is that so far tens of thousands of people have been provided free justice. Federal Ombudsman has not restricted itself to individual complaints, but also prepared 28 study reports on different organizations. In the light of these reports, recommendations were formulated to improve the working of various organizations. 
For improvement of facilities in jails, various steps were taken to improve the system in jails, which included provision of facilities for the prisoners with the help of philanthropists and provincial governments. The prisoners got released by payment of their fines who were in jails due to non-payment thereof. It is an ongoing process and the Federal Ombudsman has submitted 12 quarterly reports to the Honourable Supreme Court of Pakistan. Pakistan has also played an important role in highlighting the importance and effectiveness of the institution of the Ombudsman through the platform of International Ombudsman Institute, IOI, OIC Ombudsman Association, OICOA, and Asian Ombudsman Association, AOA, at international level besides the local level. Pakistan was also a host of the first Asian Ombudsman Conference held on the 15th to 16th April 1996. Later on, the permanent office of the Asian Ombudsman Association was also established in the Federal Ombudsman Secretariat in Islamabad and the Federal Ombudsman of Pakistan was elected as President of the Board of Directors. On 19th October 2022, the Federal Ombudsman, Ijaz Ahmed Qureshi, chaired the 23rd Annual Meeting of the Board of Directors of the Asian Ombudsman Association as its president in Baku, the capital of Azerbaijan, in which the ombudsmen from Asian countries participated and took important decisions. The Federal Ombudsman is there to help and protect your right against maladministration. You can trust on Federal Ombudsman as your friend. Do not consider yourself neglected and marginalized. A federal ombudsman office is just at a short distance from you. Report to us any administrative excess or maladministration of any federal government department that you come across, we will take legal action to resolve. We do not talk, but provide visible justice.